Hello, my name is Lazuardi Rinaldi, and I'm a second year undergraduate electrical engineering student here at Georgia Tech. Today, I'll be presenting the design thinking process of creating BMO, or BMORE, a Raspberry Pi video game handheld. This project is for the class EC3005 Professional Communication. We'll go over the main question on how do I take an idea and turn it into a reality. Then we'll go over on what is design thinking process and how it relates to the project BMO, Retro Game Handheld. We'll use this project as a showcase of the design thinking process and its steps and conclude from there. All right, so I work at the Hive Makerspace down in Van Leer at Georgia Tech as a PI or a peer instructor. And on every shift, I help students currently working on their projects or even coming in for the first time to start new ones. And at these times where they have a fresh idea in their mind and want to create it, it is where we stumble onto this question. How do I take an idea and turn it into reality? How do I get this concept from my head to having it in my hand that is tangible to hold and work with, something to play with? So that's where the design thinking process can be used. So what is design thinking process? In simple words, the design thinking process is a methodology, a way of thought of solving complex problems. It is a technique using creative, cognitive, strategical skills to solve problems. Instead of just heading on a project head on and just hope for the best, there are five essential stages or steps you can take to ensure that you will have a successful project and be able to turn that idea into something real and tangible. In order, we have empathize, define, ideate, prototype, and test. In order to explain this process clearly, I want to introduce a project I worked on over the summer to showcase exactly how these five steps apply in a real world situation. The project is creating BMO, a retro game video game handheld. This machine is inspired by BMO, short for BMORE, an Adventure Time character from the Adventure Time TV show. He is a real robot boy, um, as they say in the TV show. And the goal was to use a Raspberry Pi, a small computer usually used for tinkering and DIY projects or other electronics um, projects. And with other electronic parts, we want to turn that to a real life video game machine as seen here. So how do I turn this idea into a real project? Well, the design thinking process, of course. So let's go over these five stages. The first stage is empathize. Empathize is when you understand, is where you understand what you're trying to solve. In this case, we, we ask ourselves, you know, we, we take research about what the user needs to understand the problem so we can create a solution. In this case, my problem was that I want to take a fictional cartoon character and recreate it in real life. And I want it to be portable and be able to play retro video games. So we have BMO here as a cartoon character, and we want to turn it to something physical that we could play with. And that goes to our second stage, which is define. Now that we know what we want to solve, we need to define the problem. Now with all the information gathered, take all those important points and create specific objectives for fulfilling its purpose. In this case, we wanted to create a video game console that's inspired by the BMO character using a Raspberry Pi and other electronic parts. At this stage, you define the objectives you want to take. In our case, we want to make sure it's recognizable to look like BMO, that it's enclosed in its own shell, portable, runs on battery, plays video games on Raspberry Pi using RetroPi, and use buttons on the shell to actually play the video games. Now that we have those objectives, we go to our next stage, the third stage, ID8. Here is where we brainstorm and create a plan on how to make this project a reality. This is where you create a list of what features you want to add, what materials are going to be used, and how to build it. Planning is essential so you could create a flowchart for all the functions and steps. One way of planning is to create a list of steps to take and a list of materials and tools needed to create your project. In the case for BMO, after researching and creating a plan on what to build and how to build it, we would gather the parts. In this case, it includes a display, a Raspberry Pi, 
buttons, perf board to create a custom controller, some wires, and a shell material that we chose as acrylic. And then the next step we were going to do is to design the shell and create and make sure to test fit the components into that prototype. There we would connect up the Raspberry Pi, program the RetroPie video game emulation station, and then test it. Once that's working, we would build the custom controller and put it all together to make it look like BMO in the finishing touches with some sticker paper. Now that we have the list of materials and a plan, our fourth stage is to prototype. Prototype is where, as self-explanatory, build a prototype of the solution. Um, here we are creating models for it to be tested and there's an iterative method here where we will create different revisions as needed. So here with BMO, the first is to create a CAD design of the shell and then laser cut and assemble the shell. But when I assembled the first prototype, I noticed there were some parts that weren't aligned properly. So I had to create a second version, a revision of that process. This iterative process of prototyping continues on. Here we could see that I'm test fitting the buttons in the display, make sure it fits inside the shell. Uh, as I told you before, the first shell did not fit properly, so I had to create a second version, which you see here. After everything fits, I had to place them on each uh, perf board and making sure that those fit also. And once those fit, I soldered the buttons and connect up the components to the Raspberry Pi and the display. Once that's working, I go on and install the RetroPie video game emulation station software so that we could play retro video games like BMO did on this Raspberry Pi video game machine. Once that's done, we could move on to the last step, which is testing. Testing is where we analyze the solution from our prototype and evaluate it to make sure it satisfies all the objective we want. If not, we would iteratively review, reflect, and loop back to whichever step you need to and revise and repeat until you're satisfied. Here I'm testing Super Mario Bros running on the machine, but I noticed the buttons that I connected were not working. So I had to go back to the prototype stage, fix up the wiring, and through that process, I was able to get it working. Once everything was working, it was time to put all the components together. And it was a bit difficult fitting it all in. But the Raspberry Pi right here fits in with the two custom control boards, the 5-inch display, and a portable power bank. This satisfies all the objectives, except for one more thing, which was to make the BMO machine look like BMO the character. So the last step, or the finishing touches, was to attach the colored stickers to make it look like the BMO colorway. And once that's done, we could finally now see the results. And here it is. So on the left side, we could see that the BMO uh, video game machine can play video games using its own built-in buttons. Here in the middle, we have the completed front of the BMO machine, all with a sticker to make it look like BMO. And right here is a 360 view of the machine ready to play some good video games. So in conclusion, what did we learn today? We learned how to turn an idea into a real product using design thinking process with those five stages. The first one being empathize where you understand what you're trying to solve. The second one being define where you establish a problem and its purpose and its objectives. The third one being ideate, where you brainstorm and create a plan. The fourth one being prototype, where you build a prototype of the solution. And the fifth and last one to be test, where you analyze the solution and iteratively revise by going back to any one of these stages as needed. With these five stages, I was able to turn this cartoon character right here into a physical game machine that I could play. And so when you're starting a new project, or solving a problem, try using the design thinking process to ensure that it's successful. Thank you, and let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section. And if you want a more detailed guide on how I build my BMO, I have an instruction guide linked down in the description. And finally, here are the references. I hope you guys have a good day, and take care.